Hello there and happy Tuesday once again. Today's tech tip is a fun little site that allows you to create a custom font from your own handwriting. Maybe you have a website and would like to use your own custom font for headings. Or maybe you like to design documents and want a way to incorporate your own handwriting into them. Well, today's tip is going to allow you to do just that. We're going to start out here by going to calligrapher.com. This website provides a lot of information about the features and support, and it also has a pricing page. Now, this is not something that you must pay for. There is a free option, and that's what I'm going to show you today. But this pricing page here will show you what you can get with the pro version if you are interested. We're going to start by clicking the Get Started Free link here at the top of the page. You do have to register an account with the free version, but it's very easy to do. Simply enter your email address, create a password, and then click Submit. Once you do that, it is then going to send you a confirmation email, and then once you get that confirmation email, you can come here and then log in. That's all the registration process includes. It's just creating an email so that you have a login. It doesn't ask you for any other type of information, just your email address, agree to their terms, and that's all you have to do. So once you've registered, you're then going to log in to the site by entering that email address and password that you use to register. Once you're logged in, it takes you step by step through the process. It's really very easy to create this custom font by using the wizard that's built into the system. Just to kind of give you an overview of what we're going to do, we are going to create a template. So basically we're going to decide what characters and letters we want to create with our font. We are going to print out a sheet, a template sheet, that will allow us to write in, in our handwriting, those letters and characters that we want. We're going to take that document and then scan it back into our computer. That way we can upload it back here in the system and that's how it becomes our own custom font. So the first thing we need to do is create a template. So I'm going to click the create a template link here. Now what you're going to do is just like it says here on the steps, it's going to walk you through how to select the characters that you want to use as part of your template. So for example, if you want the English letters to be part of the font template that you're creating, we'll click minimal English here, and now you'll see we get our uppercase letters, our lowercase letters, and then the period and the comma. If we would also like to add punctuation, we can click that, and now we've added punctuation to our template as well. Maybe you only want part of this punctuation. You don't want all of it. Maybe I'll never use a percent sign. I can click on that percent sign, and then I can delete that from my template. Um, I can get rid of a few of these others here as well, things I don't think I'm ever really going to use. We can get rid of those because they don't need to be part of my template, just as an example. We can do this with numbers. We've got common scripts here. We've got miscellaneous things, like if you might have any kind of mathematical equations or if you need more punctuation than was already there, you can do that. You also have a link here for arbitrary characters. So these are um, just kind of one-off characters that you can select and instead of selecting the full template here that you see. So once you have created your template or the items that you want as part of your template, what you need to do then is download it. So I'm going to download mine as a PDF, and I also want to see the help lines here, and I'll show you what that looks like. When I download then, this is going to show me that it has downloaded. I can click the link to go to it, and then it tells me what to do next. So I already know after I scan it, I know where to go to upload my template. So what I need to do now is actually take a look at this template. So what I have downloaded are all of those characters that I had selected on the screen. I have all of the uppercase, all of the lowercase, and then a few extra punctuation as well. What I need to do now is I need to print this off, and then I need to write in these boxes 
these letters and punctuation in my own handwriting. So in this box, I need to write the capital letter D. In this box, I need to write the capital letter M and so on. And this is how I am going to create the font. Also notice we have these help lines, these guides that you can use here. This helps you to line up and size all of these the same way so that everything is very uniform. So I'm going to print this out, fill it out, fill in all these boxes, and then I need to scan it back into my computer. That way I can upload it back into the system here. So I have already done this as an example for today. So back here in Calligrapher, I'm going to go to my fonts now, and now I need to upload my template that I have scanned back into my computer. So I will click Upload Template, and then I need to go out and choose the file to attach it. I'll select the file here and then open. Upload my template. And now what you'll see are all of the characters that I filled out on that sheet. Now I didn't fill out all of them just for sake of time. I only did a few of them. So you can kind of see how they look when you pull them in here. Now some of these, if I'm not happy with them, I can click on the trash can and it will not be added to my font list that I'm creating. So I'll take out a couple of these that are empty here. And then I can now add these characters. So here is the font that I'm now creating. If I click the build font button, I can give my font a name. I'll keep it as my font and then click build. And then what I want to show you here is we have um, two font files that it's going to give you, a TTF and an OTF, and you can preview both of those. You can also change the preview size if you want to see them a little bit bigger. So we see the alphabet here. This is what I have uploaded. This is what my font will look like. And then I also have a size comparison. So just like it says, it allows you to compare the size of the characters and the font that you have created to other fonts. And also notice if they're not quite right, you don't have to start all over again. You have the ability to edit font details, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. Also notice at the bottom, if you're not really happy with what you're seeing here, they do have an FAQ for how to fix common problems. So we'll close this window. And here we have the edit font details option as well. So here we can change the font size. If we want to take it down, we can spread out word spacing. We can spread out letter spacing. We've got some options that we can really work with here for our new font. If we click on any of the letters that we have added into our font, we can edit them individually. So we can edit this character if we want to change the size of it or the brush size if we want to make it a little thinner and things like that. We've got the ability to do a little bit of editing on each character itself. We can adjust the baseline size if we want to do that. Got lots of options in here. If we go back to my font now, so now if I'm happy with the details and I want to download these font files, we will go to the build font option again. And remember here at the top, we have our TTF and our OTF font files. By clicking these links, this is how you can download those to your computer. So then that gives you the file that is your font to be used within your site or add it into Microsoft Word so that you can use that new custom font that you have created based off of your own handwriting. So that is our tech tip for today, calligrapher.com to create your own custom font.